Okay, so this, uh, what I want to talk about now is how to take a form that we built. Uh, we built this form, form earlier on a previous um, recording. And so we just have some basic information, right? And what we want to be able to do now is process that person filling out that form. So the person comes to the site, fills out the form, and when they click submit, we want their data to go to um, us, the owner of the website, the owner of the form. Okay, so when they go in there, fill out all their information. Of course, this hasn't been styled. It's just kind of randomly uh, elements put everywhere. Um, but to give you an idea how that works, when we're looking at the actual form, right, we have a field um, here and a value to put in called form action equals. And now we have this one set to a file called processmail.php. That's a file that you'll put on your server along with your contact form.html file, right? Which is, which is this file. And they'll work together. So when somebody hits the submit button, the action will execute. And that action will be that file. So if that file is in a different directory, you have to put the directory name slash the file name. So in that file, what's happening is you're running a PH, some PHP code that will take advantage of the mail functions inside PHP. All right, so this beginning part right here where it says from email and comment, um, these are referencing the IDs that you used in your form. So you'll see post where you have name, mail, and message. All right, if you go back to your form, I got a form with an ID of name right here. Um, and this one doesn't have, uh, you'd have to have one that says message and have one. Uh, this was based on another form that we did here uh, that this one's working with. And so you would look at that. This one has the name and then ID mail and then ID message. Okay, so those are the IDs that are being used. And what that means is when somebody goes and fills out the form, all right, um, that information, it will be associated with that ID and it will be taken and transferred to or uh, given to this PHP form where this PHP form is going to say, oh, what did you have for ID name? Okay, and that's going to become the variable where you see dollar sign from, dollar sign email, and it's going to capture that information. So the person's name, the person's email address, and what they put in the comments field for that, for that um, form element. All right, and then it's going to send the email. So if you were to use this code right here, you would put in your email address right here, and then you would put in the uh, subject line, um, you would put what you want to see as the subject. Okay, and then you would put in the message. Uh, so right here the message says message from, dollar sign from, which is uh, the actual name. So you'll see a message from so and so. And that would be what they typed into the form, at, and then it would show their email address, and then it would say comment, and then it would put in what they had their comment as. And then um, you would just keep the same, keep all of this stuff, this is, this, all of this right here is just one kind of works together. And pretty much you just go in there and put your email address in there and um, make sure that the IDs are, are here from the IDs that are in your form and that should work fine. Um, so that's pretty much how you process a form data in a contact form through an HTML page.